On the heels of Kina Bank's acquisition of ANZ PNG's retail and commercial banking business, Kina Bank CEO Greg Pawson has promised to take on and continue ANZ's commitment to the national financial inclusion strategy. The country's commercial banks have been supportive of the central bank's initiative, and with the second national strategy currently being rolled out nationally, Kina Bank's participation will provide an opportunity for many of the unbanked to open bank accounts with a homegrown Papua New Guinean bank like Kina Bank. Uh, we're going to do it in a number of ways. So ANZ currently have quite an extensive Go Money program. We will continue to run that, that program under the Kina Bank um, brand. And we're, we're also doing some work with um, one of the major microfinance banks at the moment with a view to being able to support them uh, today in terms of what they're doing. It, it's very costly to set up a, 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 you know independent financial inclusion program. So, so our view is why not for, form a strategic partnership with an organisation that's already well established, that has a good platform and is doing this really, really well. And one of the organisations we're talking to, they have over 350,000 customers today. So we think we could provide them with technical support through our banking infrastructure uh, with some wholesale funding to potentially expand their services and, and have a much, much broader f footprint. And given that we're going to have 21 branches across the country, we can help with that. Leanne Girari, National MTV News.